Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I'm sharing 20 of my top favorite 2020 DIYs. These are all Dollar Tree DIYs and I will be sharing the original links below. So let's go ahead and get started and let me know which one you think should be number one. Starting with number 20, I'm going to use this plastic serving tray from Dollar Tree. You can find this in the party section and they have tons of different styles. Now I want to try and get this a terracotta color. Folk Art has this really pretty Pueblo color, but I've been using Rust-Oleum's Warm Caramel. Now you're going to paint the inside and the outside, and with some nautical rope from Dollar Tree, I'm just going to start putting it around the lip. So I'm going to do this on the outside first, and then work my way to the inside. Once I get to the inside, I'm going to add two little handles using the same rope. Look how beautiful this is, and also super simple. You can't even tell this is a Dollar Tree serving tray. For number 19, I'm using this little votive glass from Dollar Tree. I'm also going to use some beads that I had left over, but you can use the Dollar Tree beads. They have different styles, but... I really like using the unfinished ones because they come in the same size and some Dollar Tree floral wire. So I'm going to start stringing some beads and this is going to be enough beads to cover the bottom and the top, which is 27 beads. And then I'm going to twist that around, cut it down with some side cutters or pliers and make sure that the tip is really tucked in there so that you don't hurt yourself. And I made two of those. Now I'm going to take another piece of wire and I'm going to string it on a random bead. I'm going to twist it up and I'm going to start stringing some more beads and this is going to be the length of my jar. So for everyone it's going to be a little different depending on how you want it. I'm going to string it on the top row and then I'm going to place that on my beads. Now that that's on there and I've twisted it, I've decided that I want to add a row every seventh bead. So I'm going to do the exact same thing until I work my way around. So once I finish one row, I'm going to go ahead and crisscross it onto the other one, counting seven down and kind of wedging it in the middle where they meet and doing the same thing over and over again until I finish. So mathematically there's no reason why I did every seven beads but you can go ahead and take the amount of beads that you have and divide them by an even number if you want something a little bit more concrete. Every new row that I'm making I'm crisscrossing in the middle and having it join where I started my original beads. Now you can add a handle. I didn't choose to add one to mine because I'm going to be burning candles on this but this is the original from Michael's and this is mine. For number 18, I'm going to use this cylinder vase from Dollar Tree. You can find this in the floral section. I'm also going to use this paper from Michaels. You can get them for like 79 cents or you can print something out from your computer, but this is a 12 by 12 using some Dollar Tree Mod Podge. I'm going to start to brush it on the inside and on the outside and you'll see why. So when I start to add my paper, I'm going to work my way around and make sure that it is nice and straight, no air bubbles at all. And then when I get to the top, I'm going to create some notches using some scissors and this is going to make my life so much easier with getting a nice clean edge. Instead of cutting that down, I'm just tucking it in so you don't want to put water in this. This is more for faux floral. This is the Michaels and here is mine. Number 17, I use this plunger from Dollar Tree, but of course you can skip the plunger and just get yourself a dowel rod. You don't have to use all Dollar Tree. I unscrewed the bottom and you can go ahead and cut that down, but I left it on just to give it a little bit more length. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some beads. You can use the Dollar Tree ones. Like I mentioned, they have different styles and different colors and some do come in the same size, especially the hair ones, but I think Amazon is so much cheaper. Use an upholstery needle and thread or twine 
line to get your beads in place. This makes life so much easier, but if you don't have an upholstery needle, Dollar Tree in the hair section has hair sewing needles for wigs and weaves. You can use that too. They come in different styles. When I did this, I believe I made a row of 60, 40, and 20 to get a staggered look, but you can do this as big or as small as you want. A little twine handle up top so it's easier to hang and with some Dollar Tree hula skirt which of course is a summer item you can go ahead and use this or you can macrame some yarn from Dollar Tree onto some twine. I did this because it was a shortcut and I really liked the way that it looked against the natural bead. I also went ahead and added tassels to mine. I had tassels from a Dollar Tree tassel chandelier that I created years ago. So I just placed them randomly. As you can see, there's the chandelier. And now I'm just gonna straighten out the bottom to give it like a V. You can leave it as is, or you can do what I'm doing and just use a yardstick or a dowel rod to help you cut this into a straight line. Number 16 is using these little palettes in the crafter square section of Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna line these up. If you don't wanna waste the money on this, you can use some stir sticks from Lowe's or Home Depot, but I am gonna go ahead and use these. I'm gonna use my square tool to kind of straighten them out and some Dollar Tree glue. These are nice and thick, so using the glue won't really seep out in the front, but make sure that you have a protective layer at the bottom. So now that it is nice and straight, I'm gonna add some popsicle sticks to the middle pieces, just so this is more secure. I'm not gonna add it to the part where they have separations because you'll be able to see it, but those pieces that make the two palettes meet definitely are a great place to add them, also in the middle as well. Flipped it over, some of the paper was stuck to the glue, so I'm gonna use a Dollar Tree sanding sponge to remove all of that. You can use an orbital sander if you have one, but this is the easiest way if you don't have a tool. So now I'm gonna use these push pins from Dollar Tree. You can find them in the office section or back to school section. I pierced them on to an old piece of cardboard and gave them a coat of spray paint. And now I'm gonna use a drill to create tiny little holes where I want them. Now I did mark this off beforehand. I put these in using a dab of glue onto the tip just so that it stays in place because if not it will fall out. I added this Dollar Tree home sign. Of course you can customize yours but I love the color because I wanted a nautical look. I added a Dollar Tree anchor, let it dry, and this is what I was left with. Number 15, I'm using another vase. Of course, you can find this in the floral section. And this is going to be basically a larger version of the little wee cups that I created. Um, they're supposed to be like Moroccan lanterns. So I cut out a design and I'm gonna spray it lightly with water on the back so I relax the paper. Add it to the middle. You can add some spray, but I just added more water. Make sure that it's straight and you're gonna want some gold puffy paint. The one that I have already has a tip. Just make sure that you are constantly clearing out the tip on a piece of paper because you don't want this to kind of explode on your design and take your time. You can also freehand this if you'd like. This is what it looks like. Let it dry completely because you don't want to smudge this. Once it's dry, get some Dollar Tree Mod Podge and add it to a bowl, a cup, whatever you have. Some food coloring of your choice so that you can mix a pretty nice color and water. You want this to be runny, not super runny, but runny enough to where you can get it into the entire vase or jar that you're using. So you're going to start swirling around. Take your time with this because you don't want air bubbles until you get to the bottom and everything's covered let it spill back into your cup if you want to do another one or if you want to do something smaller and then add this face down to aluminum foil so that it can continue to drip if there's any spots that are missing just pour some back in and do the same thing if you don't have another item that you'd want to tint, you can use the original Mod Podge bottle and just pour your mixture back in so you can use it for later use. 
every now and then lift up your vase and clean off the lip because it is going to drip. When it looks completely dry, bake facing up in a baking sheet. You're going to bake it at 200 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes and let it cool in the oven. This is what it looks like and oh my gosh, I am in love. Number 14 and one of the easier ones, but one of the biggest transformations is using this pineapple from Dollar Tree. This is in the summer section. I'm going to remove all of the tinsel and take this apart. I'm going to use some side cutters or pliers to remove those little spiky things. And then I'm going to take the top apart as well. I'm going to give this a coat of this beautiful almond color by Krylon. And with a hula skirt, or you can also use raffia but the hula skirt is a lot neater. I'm just gonna tape this down so it doesn't move around and then start creating little braids. When you're done with each braid, flood the bottom with some hot glue and now it's time to reassemble. I did reassemble using hot glue as well and every time I cut down, I flood the end with some hot glue as well. And I'm going to cover every single one of those little rows and some extra. It's up to you if you want to cover all of them or add more. But once you make your way around, just add the top of the pineapple and I use this Dollar Tree LED candle. Just look at what a huge difference this makes. Number 13, I'm going to be using this pizza pan. You can find this in the kitchen section of Dollar Tree. Remove the sticker and now with this paper, which I bought at Michael's, again it's like 79 cents, I'm just going to try and cut this as round as possible and then I'm going to Mod Podge it to the back. You can Mod Podge it to the front. I just like the way it looked on the back better and once I had it in place, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to just get a more precise cut. To cover up that edge, I'm using some Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm just going to start hot gluing it into place until I make my way all the way around. I did this twice, I believe, and once it was all the way around, I created handles using some Dollar Tree floral wire and beads. So I'm going to tuck in the ends till I have this curly little piece, start feeding my beads through, and I'm going to curl the other end and hot glue them in place. You can also hook them or E6000 them. To make the rope look a little neater, grab a lighter and quickly pass over this. You don't want to hold it too long and then you can secure your beads in place. I use watered down brown paint to make them a little darker, but you can use whatever color you'd like. And this is what you're left with. Number 12, I'm going to be using raffia from Dollar Tree. I unwound one bundle and tied a little knot to the top, cut off the excess raffia, and then I just taped it down to a table. You can also secure it in a drawer so you get a nice straight braid. Braid all the way down and you can either tie the end off or flood it with hot glue. Totally up to you. I use these Dollar Tree mirrors. Note that they do come in two different sizes and I painted it the closest color I could to the raffia and made my way all the way around. I believe I used maybe two braids for this or three. So I covered everything and then I use these wooden picks from Dollar Tree which you can find in the party section. I cut some of them down and then just started to place them in. This is one of the easiest crafts and does not look like it comes from the dollar store at all. Number 11, and it's actually a bonus craft because I'm going to take that tray that I used earlier, remove the handles, and on the back I'm going to add some string so that I'm able to hang this. Now I want this to be really secure so I'm adding E6000 and hot glue, but if I were to do this beforehand I probably would have drilled two holes and basically tied the handle in place. I have a tutorial on how I did this with wire once, but I did this craft after the fact. So once it is nice and dry, I'm going to take that same mirror that we just made, which was, I believe, number 12, and then I'm just going to hot glue an E6000 that in place. And this instantly makes your mirror look bigger and more interesting. So you're combining two crafts in case you get tired of them. And look how beautiful this looks. No 
number 10 and it's one of the most practical and one of the videos that actually I went viral for on TikTok. I'm going to use these little crates from Dollar Tree. They're in the crafter square section and some Dollar Tree wood glue and I'm going to attach the two. Now I'm going to clamp them in place and for this I just use the Dollar Tree binder clips. Let it dry really well. I usually let it dry overnight even though that's not necessary and make sure that it is nice and dry before you move on. So with these Dollar Tree rulers, you don't have to use this, but this is what I use. I remove those little plastic tabs and then I am going to cut this down so that it fits the width of each crate so that I have a little shelf. So I marked it using a little Sharpie and then I cut this down using my mini saw or a regular saw. You're gonna add glue to the sides you can also add a little dab of hot glue so it stays in place and make sure that it is nice and straight. Now, because we're not wasteful, I used the end of the ruler that I cut down and I'm going to make a little stand for the back. So for this, I used an old picture frame that had one of these little thingies that I had ripped off before. I'm going to E6000 and hot glue it in place and make sure that where you're adding it, you're going to have a nice little slouch to this. Now you're going to E6000 and hot glue. I realized that I only use hot glue, but make sure that you're using like wood glue or something. You can skip this step and just mount it onto the wall, but now you have a place to display your glasses or any tiny item. Number nine, I'm going to be using these canvases from Dollar Tree. You find them in the crafter square section. And if you don't have one, usually in the tiny arts and crafts section that Dollar Tree has, they'll have the canvases. I removed the actual canvas part. And now you can cover this up with free stir sticks from Walmart, Lowe's, wherever. I'm going to use jumbo popsicles because I didn't have enough stir sticks, but do know that they will provide it for free. So I'm using wood glue you can use whatever wood glue you want to add them and i left a tiny little space in between nothing too noticeable but just make sure that you space this out before securing it in place flip it over and let it dry on a secure surface and now i'm going to work on my beads you can use dollar tree beads you can use amazon beads you can use whatever you want if you're going to use dollar tree ones Make sure that you're getting all the same size and put them on a skewer and paint them if you want a specific color. I kept this a natural wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and use my Amazon beads and do all one size. Now I'm gonna put them onto a skewer and I'm gonna keep them on a skewer so that they're nice and straight. So this is for the 10 inch portion of the frame. I made two of these and both have 20 beads each. Eight inch section that I used 14 beads for each side. I'm going to cut off the end of the skewer and then I'm going to start securing it in place. You can add a little bit of wood glue to keep the beads from moving. I removed one bead and then used hot glue to place the other bead on top. That way the skewer isn't protruding at all and I did this to all four of them. Secure your beads in place on the edge of your frame using your method of choice whether it's hot glue or wood glue, a combination of both. And now you're gonna to wanna to take your additional frame that you've removed the canvas from, and you're gonna to wanna to place that on top. Make sure that when you do this, it is nice and straight. You can stain this, you can paint this. I just did a whitewash so that it looks a little aged. So I grabbed a brush from Dollar Tree and some paint and just made random strokes. Now here is the original from Michaels, which is a lot bigger, and here is mine. Number eight, I'm using these craft sticks from Dollar Tree. You can use the chunky ones, you can use the thinner ones, and I am going to place this on some on a stove with some water, and I'm going to have this boil down. So I'm doing more sticks than what I think I need because some of these are going to snap when I try and bend them. So make sure that you are wearing gloves when you pull this out. And I'm going to grab a vase from Dollar Tree, and then as I pull it out, I'm going to bend it 
and then I'm gonna push it in to the vase, making sure that it's straight. If it does crack, that's why we made the extra ones, but always make more than you need. By the way, I am wearing thermal gloves underneath my kitchen gloves. I just didn't wanna get them wet, so make sure that you're wearing something to protect your hands from the heat. Now let this dry really well. I mean two or three days well. You don't want it to be moist because it will lose its shape. And now I'm going to start to shape it like one across from the other to make a little lantern shape. I use this little frame thing from Dollar Tree. I found that in the crafter square section and I basically took it apart. I used two of these to create the top and bottom of my lantern. Now I'm going to start hot gluing one across from the other. You can mark them in place if you want. I use those little black hook things as a guide. You can also use wood glue as well, but I wanted an instant hold for Make this. Make sure that you're constantly checking if the top piece is aligned with the bottom with the way that you're placing your sticks and then rearrange as you see fit, which is why I like using the hot glue. Now I was short one popsicle stick, so I should have made a few more than I thought I did, but when I was done, I did hot glue the top piece in place, and then I went ahead and made a little bead handle using the same method that I've used throughout all of these tutorials, and I gave it a coat of watered down brown paint. Number seven is a bonus craft because it is basically the same thing in a different format. I'll leave the original video below, but didn't want to add it here because it's the same thing. Now, number six, I'm using the raffia from Dollar Tree, and I am just going to do the same method as before. Tie the top, cut off the excess, and then tape it down to a table and create a braid all the way down. Depending on how thick you make your braids, that's what's going to depend on how many you make. On a Dollar Tree pizza pan, I'm going to take my braid and start coiling it in off of the pan first so that I can place it right in the middle. And then I'm going to place it in the middle and start coiling it all the way around, making sure that the ends are tucked in so it looks neat. And I'm going to do this until I cover the inside and some of the outside as well. And start moving my rope upward making sure that it's nice and straight so that I create a little basket and for this I used three braids in total and tucked in so that it looks nice and straight with some Dollar Tree paper towel holders. I'm going to cut this down. This was difficult so if you have better supplies awesome. If not my husband kind of helped me out with this. I'm going to take some raffia and this is time consuming but totally worth it in the end. I'm going to bend it forward, making sure that they're all kind of the same bend. And then with some raffia, I'm going to start to tie it in one end and then just wrap it all the way around. Wrapping this neatly in raffia totally changes the look. You can barely tell that these are paper towel holders or napkin holders. So now, once I've made my way around, I'm gonna flip my pizza pan over, I'm gonna position these and mark them, and then I'm gonna grab some glue and secure this in place. Use your choice of glue, you can use E6000, you can use super glue, whatever you want. Once it's dry, this is what it looks like, and I am regretting not making this one number one. Number five is a bonus because I took that same top piece and just added handles to it. I'll leave the original below, but look how gorgeous this looks. Number four, I use these DIY wood frames from Dollar Tree. These are a summer item. I took it apart and took out those little hook things. And now I'm gonna grab a vase from Dollar Tree, you can find in the floral section. And what I'm gonna do is use some of the Dollar Tree glue add some to my rim and then place it. Now you want to make sure that that little flat piece is aligned with the bottom so it doesn't look all funky and that when you're hot gluing the top it's nice and straight. Dollar Tree has these wood dowels but if you don't have them then bamboo skewers work just as well. Mark your wood and cut it down and when you cut this down you can do it with a mini saw, you can do it with a hand saw which they sell at Dollar Tree. Always make more than you need. And with some Dollar Tree wood glue, I'm gonna secure this in place. You can do a combination of wood glue 
and hot glue. Just make sure that you are nice and neat when doing this so you don't have glue seeping everywhere. I let it dry with some weight on top and the next day I removed that and I coated the entire thing in some watered down brown paint because lately I have been avoiding stain. So you wanna cover this entire thing. If you want to make your life easier, sand everything down before you assemble it so it looks nice and even. When it was completely dry, I added some nautical rope to the top. I used the brown one simply because this one holds its shape. The white one kind of becomes floppy, so I just added hot glue to each corner. For projects like this, I always recommend using LED candle versus real ones because you don't want any accidents, and look how unique this looks. Number three, and probably one of my most recreated crafts of 2020, I'm using these table tennis balls from Dollar Tree. You can find them in the toy section, and sometimes you can find them in random end caps, right where you see that little seam. You can go ahead and use a drill. Make sure that you are pressing down before you start drilling so it doesn't slip. Or you can use the end of a hot glue gun, a hot skewer, chic on the cheap, recreated this and she used i believe a hot skewer so if you don't have a drill use that go all the way through and take off the little excess and now we're going to put these on a skewer to make it easier to paint and i painted using spray paint this is the lovely almond color that i had used on the pineapples earlier so i'm going to spray paint it doing it in very very light coats you can put this on some cardboard or whatever you want and to make it look even more real just mix a combination of brown paints and dry brush them so that they look like real wood and they remove some of that shine for the wreath part i used these 3d wreath forms from dollar tree and took them apart and with some pliers i just cut it down the middle so that i can start looping in my ping pong balls but i'm going to remove those little hooks and just make sure that they're nice and flat so that nobody gets hurt so when i'm placing these i'm going to make sure that all of the seams are facing in the same direction now for the bottom i'm going to grab some floral tape wrap it around so that I have a place to add my floral. And then at the end of those beads, I'm gonna add a thick amount so that they don't move around. During the spring, Dollar Tree has a ton of foliage, but I use greenery that I had from a grab bag from Michaels, and I'm gonna secure it in place using that same floral tape. The floral tape is from Dollar Tree as well. And now I'm gonna add some flowers that I also had in my grab bag with a combination of Dollar Tree. So these are the Dollar Tree roses, and then I added some tulips from the Michaels grab bag. Number two is a bonus because it is the same wreath only using that beautiful warm caramel color and different greenery and flowers from Dollar Tree and Michaels and just changing the color definitely changes the look and style. For number one, I'm gonna take a pizza pan. This one is so easy, but one of my favorites. Now I'm gonna take a sanding sponge and I'm gonna sand the whole thing down so that the paint that I'm gonna add to this sticks and doesn't flake off with time. Trust me, take your time with this because this is gonna make sure that this lasts. So now I'm gonna give it a coat of fusion white. You can paint this whatever color you want, but I really love how white and natural wood looks. So make sure that you let it dry before you flip it over and do the other side. Key to most of these crafts is having some patience. So now the following day, once this is all nice and dry, I'm going to move on to making the border for this. And for this, I use the Dollar Tree Wood Snakes. This is such an easy craft, but oh my gosh, it looks so gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the tail 
tail and the head. Now you wanna cut that way rather than the long way so that it's easier for you to cut. I'm using that little saw from Dollar Tree, which is kind of not the best, for, but for this works perfectly. Now save these because I will link the original video below with the tails. I make this really, really cool little table riser or candle riser, whatever you wanna call it. So all the videos will be linked below. Now you're gonna cut down to 22 because that is the middle point and you're gonna make your cut there. Now that you have that cut, I use these rubber bands from Dollar Tree. You can use whatever rubber band you have. And this is going to help me keep the shape while this dries. So I'm just going to hook it on to the bottom. I do end up hooking it on somewhere Make else. Make sure that you are sanding down the bottom. If you have an orbital sander, that would be so much better. But if not, the sanding sponge from Dollar Tree works as well. So just keep placing your rubber band where you see fit. And once that's done, you can move on to placing these onto the tray. Before you secure these on, make sure that you're spacing them out accordingly because you are going to have to leave a little tiny space depending on if you're using a Dollar Tree pizza pan or one that you've thrift thrifted and is a little larger. This is where I want it spaced. You can use a little mark, but I'm going to do a mix of glue and hot glue. Make sure this dries really well overnight and check how sturdy they are. If any of them are loose after the following day, then just repeat the process, remove the hot glue and do this all over again. And then go ahead and remove your rubber bands and oh my gosh, look at this. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know which one you would have picked as number one. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you for sticking with me through 2020. And hopefully we have a great 2021 together. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll hopefully see you on the next one.